Hey guys, what's up? It's Bibbler7 here again. Welcome to another RuneScape vlog. In this one, I am going to be mining, as has been the case for the past few. So not really much to see on the screen. So, um, yeah. But uh, I am currently 98 out of 99 mining. Only one more level to go. Still 1 mil XP to go on that level, but um, I have gotten 200k out of the 1.2 some odd mil that I need. But uh, yeah, I should have that in probably three or four days, which is pretty awesome. Finally getting this skill out of the way. And um, that's pretty much all I've been doing when I'm online. I've just been grinding hardcore, grinding out mining, because I just want to get it over with. So I'm kind of taking a very short break from the Majorat Master uh, just to finish this off, because this is literally all I've been doing is this and ports, and I'll occasionally take one short break um, to do a daily challenge if I get one uh, but actually I got one um, <laughs> what the fuck um, but I actually got one for mining today that uh, I still have to turn in I forgot when I banked last so I'm sure I have to do it uh, next time I bank and uh, I think I have to do a Jadinko one for Hunter which I actually did one of those the like last week, and it wasn't so bad, so I'm gonna start doing them, cause they uh, they're the ones they're like the ones that I never did, but I did it, and they actually gave me pretty good XP. So um, yeah, but that's pretty much what I've been doing is mining. But um, I don't really want to talk about RS3 too much in this video, cause I made a divination discussion in the last one. I want to talk about um, 07 scape because um. They made a few little announcements today, it's, well they're actually kind of big announcements, that um, are pretty significant in the uh, future of 07scape that I'm kind of interested in. Because um, when 07scape came out, I started playing it a little bit, you know, got into it somewhat and played for a little while, but then I got bored. Um, I got bored of that, so I started to do um, EOC again. and. I didn't really get far in 07. I did like waterfall quests and a few quests um, on the way up to Monkey Madness, but uh, I never got all the way there, so I sort of just stopped playing it because um, I didn't really enjoy the way it was at the time because um, you could easily die and lose all your stuff, and it was really hard to gain money in any way. I was doing fire giants a lot, trying to get rune skims, but never actually ended up getting enough to really um I never really got enough to I can't think of the word um support myself I guess you'd say um and I could never even pay back for the runes that I was using at the giants I'm sure now it's a bit more stabilized um, I'm just gonna have to run around the cave and mine the rocks because I don't feel like pausing it to hop but uh, I'm sure by now it's uh, a lot more stabilized and less um less difficult to get a little bit of starting cash to start, you know, just start yourself up. But I still am just kind of not too interested in the current game, but oh, this is coal anyways. I thought that was gold. Um, I'm not too interested in the game as it currently is, but um, th these updates that they're planning on releasing might get me into it. So what they're planning on, well, there's a few updates they mentioned, but they didn't really, is this coal too? I don't freaking is this coal? Uh, no, this is coal. What, what the fuck? Is it, where's the gold one? There's, I thought there was. I know this is a gold one over here, and that's up. So I'll just go to that one. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm just being a little stupid. But um, yeah, I know that they um definitely plan to do at least one of these updates. Hopefully, they'll put in all of them. Because if they do, then 07 Scape will be something I might actually be interested in playing. Um, so the first thing they said was wilderness tag. And this is a completely new update. It's not existent in the EOC or RS3 or whatever. It's um, this thing they're going to do. It's going to. I think it, uh, it sounds along the lines of the Brimhaven Agility course sort of type thing. They're going to have a ton of like poles in the wilderness that you can tag to get. Um, I think they said that their reward is actually going to be GP or items that you can exchange for GP or something like that. And. Um, the GP would be uh, doubled each time you tagged a post, or maybe maybe it's not doubled. I don't know. Maybe it's it goes up exponentially. I'm not really sure. It didn't it didn't really specify too much 
in the update. Um, but the number of t posts that you tag consecutively without leaving the wilderness, the more money you can get uh, when you do leave. And I think it's a pretty cool idea, and it'll also help bring more activity to the far reaches of the wilderness in which people don't usually visit because there's really no reason to. And um, I think it would be pretty cool if they put that in because um, you could it could be a potentially a good money-making method and it could also give people more fun things to do for PKing. And um, I don't know, I think it's just a pretty cool uh, sort of idea. But that's not really the main thing that would make me want to play 07 Scape. I mean, that'd be cool, but... It's not really the main thing. The second thing, and this is one of the main things that really wants me to make me play, they may or may not introduce PvP worlds. And back when PvP worlds were first out, I was pretty newbie. I think I was sub-100 combat, but I really enjoyed going into PvP worlds at, at my lowest level and going to, like, Artie or cities like Artie or Varrock and just trying to PK. I always found it really cool to PK in the cities of the game. And I also enjoyed PKing like at Chinchampas and places where people would try and scale or bot in order to get their EP up whilst getting their skills up as well. And I always had a lot of fun going there and um, trying to kill them. And um, I don't know, I just, I, I had, I always loved the PvP world sort of aspect of the game. And I don't even know why they took it out, to be honest, because um, even after the w new wilderness came out, I don't know why they took out PvP worlds because, um, they should have left them in because uh, they could have just put the old system into the PvP worlds where in you drop your items that you have on you instead of EP drops, but it's a PvP world, like you can attack people anywhere. And that's what the that's what they will do. Um that's what they will do if they put it into O seven and I think that would be awesome. Um because I love PvP worlds. They were like my favorite thing to do for PKing. And uh, one thing I enjoyed doing as well uh, when I first re uh, first got Vengeance was I would go to the GE and fight people and I would use a D-Skim and a DDS and so would they and we would both be just be in monk robes, it'd be like kind of a no-arm fight and um, I was pretty good at doing that because uh, Venge really gave you why am I walking? Stop wa what the hell just happened? Uh, Venge gives you a really big advantage in those fights and I was always I would just use Venge and I would get a lot of money off of that because you only had to be risking 76k or more in order to get the uh, you know, whatever, the EP drop, um, that would, and if they weren't risking over 76k, you'd just get, like, Trout or some stupid crap like that, but if they were, you had potential to get huge drops, and, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that form of PKing, and, um, that's, that's because these games were, like, over 100k at that time, but, um, that's something I miss about the, uh, the old system, is you could go PKing in Rune and actually make a lot of profit, but, I mean, I guess it didn't really make sense that way either. You could go PK in Rune and get a 15 mil drop of a VLS, but you could go PKing Bandos versus Bandos and get, you know, like 400k in loot if you get a kill. So I guess it's better the way it is, but I still had a lot of fun back then. So if they introduce PvP worlds, that alone may be enough to make me come back and play again. Uh, try the 07 servers out once again, but... um. Another thing they brought up again, even though they've been talking about this ever since 07 servers were actually released, but they reintroduced the possible hope of them putting in God Wars, which I would want to almost definitely play 07 if they put in God Wars and PvP Worlds. I mean, it it's sort of a toss-up if they only put in one of the two. Um, even if they only put in God Wars, I'd still be maybe interested because I'd like to go PKing in the old system with like uh, an AGS and Darox and stuff like that, but, I mean, we'll see, uh, and if they only introduce PvP worlds, I mean, that could be kind of cool, you know, just going into PvP worlds, um, it depends if they'll let you protect item or not, I'm assuming they won't, but we'll see, maybe they'll have separate worlds for protect item and non-protect item, but, yeah, that's something we don't know yet, that would be a pretty big factor as well, because if you can, if you can't bring AGS into PvP worlds, and they don't release God Wars Dungeon, but, I mean, if you can't, protect item in pvp world and they don't release god wars dungeon but they do release pvp worlds and i wouldn't be too mad to be honest because i would just go pking in pvp worlds with like a dds and stuff like that to use my as my pking weapon and um it'd just be a lot easier that way so i wouldn't lose like my bank which would be my ags but um yeah if they introduce both then i will like 
for sure come back and play 07 Scape, and I would make videos on it as well. So um, it really depends what they do, but I'm pretty excited for the future of 07 Scape. It's looking up. Uh, they're obviously trying to bring more people into it as the, uh, the player count on it has been dropping pretty rapidly ever since it came out now. Because uh, when it first came out, there was all the hype around it, and everyone was really excited for it to come out. And then, you know, it's it quickly died off, to be honest, uh, as the as the months went on. And not a lot of people really play on there anymore. And they're trying to bring some more people in. And I mean, I'm sure God Wars Dungeon and PvP Worlds would definitely bring tons more people into the game, um, including myself. So let's hope that they uh, that they bring those in. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. But uh, I'm pretty excited either way for the uh, future of 07 scape let me know if you guys would like to see 07 scape videos if I play because if you guys only want to see RS3 then I guess I'll only do RS3 because uh, I don't want to upload things you guys don't want but uh, I assume you probably would want to see 07 scape if I'm playing it so just let me know in the comments down below as always as well um, give me your opinion on the updates that they may or may not end up implementing do you think it's a good thing for the future of the 07 scape servers or do you think it's um, a bad sort of idea to put in God Wars Dungeon and PvP Worlds? I mean, I don't see how PvP Worlds could negatively affect the game in any way. Although, people did bring up the idea of perhaps having statuette drops. I don't know how they would reincorporate those, but um, without an EP system, because there definitely wouldn't be an EP system uh, in the PvP Worlds. I don't know how they would incorporate statuette drops, and people are also requesting Brawling Gloves drops as well. Um or just some sort of passive XP bonus whilst on PvP worlds in the wilderness and skilling or you know not in the wilderness in the dangerous area so I don't know if they do that then we'll see if it's a good idea or not we'll see it depends how they actually end up implementing the PvP worlds if they'll be really good or just kind of good so I wouldn't be mad if they just introduced PvP worlds and they were just flat just PvP worlds you can go and fight anywhere you want and you can get what they have and nothing else so that would be perfectly fine to me, but we'll see. Other than that, you guys can uh, go ahead and leave your opinions down in the comments. Do you, are you excited for these potential updates? I know I am, and let me know if you want to see 07 Scape videos in the future. Um, my next video will hopefully be me getting 99 mining. I'm probably going to put up a Minecraft and or Left 4 Dead video in between now and then. And once I get 99 mining, I'm going to take right off sprinting with the Majorat Master Series. I'm going to uh, start working really hard on it because I want to get it done kind of soon because I want to actually get the money that I'm making with it because tabs worth more than you might think at this time so I kinda wanna be able to sell it off sooner rather than later so I'm gonna be working really hard on it after I get this 99 and then um, I'm also gonna be doing other PVM because uh, I'm taking a short break from skilling after this if I, you guys don't already know uh, I'm gonna take a short break from skilling get uh, some cash, make some money, hopefully I can go to Virago, and if I got a wand, then that would, I'd be set for Max Cape, no problem, and then some, because the wand is like, like in 1.9 bill or something still, even like a month after release, which is insane. I think this has to be the, I think it's even risen since the month, and like, this has got to be the highest price an item's ever been after it's released like this. It's it's just ridiculous. So we'll see. It depends on my luck, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot of PVM and I'll be making some PVM videos as well. So hope you guys are excited. I know I am and I'll see you guys for 99 mining. Like and favorite if you enjoyed, subscribe for future videos and uh as always join my friends chat and game bibzu to seven. If you want to chat with me, I'll pretty much always be in there on, when I'm online. And also, I'm going to start using my Twitter that I made a little while ago. Um, I made it, and then I never really promoted it. And uh, I'm going to try and start using it now, so that's another good way to get in touch with me. You can just tweet at me, and I'll definitely respond if you tweet at me. Uh, I might not be paying attention if you're in my French chat sometimes, so that might not be the best. But definitely, if you tweet at me, I'll get you a response. Um, even if you just say hi, I guess I could just tweet uh hi back and I'm, I'll just be tweeting things like what I'm up to what videos are in progress and stuff like that so uh, if you guys want to get more constant updates from me as well as getting any contact with me follow my Twitter it's just at bibzuda7 just like my YouTube and my RuneScape name or you can uh, just click the link in the description I'll leave one there if you guys want so
other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.